Today, millions of people are taking pause at this hour to reflect on a day that has become known as Good Friday. And if you know anything about what happened that day, then you understand why someone might ask, what was so good about that Friday? And that's what we want to reflect on today in the few moments that we have. With the uncertainty that is before us all right now, we can relate to how Jesus' followers must have felt as they watch the man whose vision they gave up everything to follow hang on a cross and die. In fact, I think this year we can relate more so than ever before. Because you see, what was, was gone. And that's true for us. What was for us, in large part, is also gone. They didn't know what the future would look like. And we don't know what the future will look like. It was a day that seemed to be filled with bad news. But as we look back, it was actually a day that Jesus brought good news. In fact, today, I want us to look at three things that Jesus said while hanging on the cross that bring good news to us. Three reasons why Good Friday is good. Luke recorded the first of Jesus' words to be, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they're doing. First good reason, first reason that Good Friday is good is that in it we find forgiveness. I mean, couldn't it be said of us that on more than one occasion we didn't know what we were doing? We make short sighted choices sometimes when we're convinced that that's really the right decision to make, only to discover how, de- how destructive that decision, that choice really was. I mean, we all fall short. We all mess up. Everybody does. We can dwell on the bad news of our failures, or we can receive the forgiveness that Jesus offered to the soldiers who crucified him and to us as well. You know, one of my favorite songs reminds us that Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain, but Jesus washed it is white as snow. And that's good news. Would you listen as Danica sings that song for us today? And I hear the Savior say, Thy strength indeed is small Child of weakness, watch and pray Find in me thine all in all Cause Jesus paid it all All to him I owe Sin had left a crimson stain He washed it white as snow Thy power and thine alone can change the leper spots and melt the heart of stone. Cause Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. Sin had left a 
crimson stain He washed it white as snow And when before the throne I stand in Him complete Jesus died my soul to save my lips shall still repeat Jesus paid it all And all to Him I owe Sin had left a crimson stain He washed it white as snow and Sin had left a crimson stain He washed it white as snow washed it white as snow he washed it white as snow Luke tells us that moments later, after one of the criminals hanging next to Jesus, asked him to remember him when he came into his new kingdom. And Jesus replied, I assure you today, you will be with me in paradise. Jesus' desire is for us to be with him both now and forever. You know, often when we hear these words, we focus on the afterlife. And for this guy, that was the only life he had in front of him for sure. But for us, however, Jesus wants us to experience salvation that ushers us into an abundant life that Jesus outlined early on in his Nazareth manifesto. He was in the temple and he was actually reading from the scroll of Isaiah where it says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me for he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim that captives will be released, that the blind will see, that the oppressed will be set free, and that the time of the Lord's favor has come. You see, that's how you and me and the rest of the world will experience abundant life. After all, God loved the entire world, everybody in it, so much that he sent his son. Joining Jesus in his kingdom is something he envisions us doing on earth as it is also done in heaven. Good news comes to everyone, even the poor, those who have been held captive or set free, and those of us who think we've got it all figured out will open the eyes of our hearts so that we can see as God sees. And all who we've oppressed, we will set free. See, that's what salvation looks like, heaven on earth. The chorus of another great song that Danica is going to sing for us in a moment goes like this. Hallelujah, praise the one who set me free. Hallelujah, death has lost its grip on me. You have broken every chain. There's salvation in your name. Jesus Christ, my living hope. That's good news. How great the chasm that lay between us. How high the mountain I could not climb. In desperation, 
I turned to heaven and spoke your name into the night. Then through the darkness, your loving kindness tore through the shadows of my soul. The work is finished, the end is written, Jesus Christ, my living hope. Who could imagine so great a mercy? What heart could fathom such boundless grace? The God of ages stepped down from glory to wear my sin and bear my shame. The cross has spoken, I am forgiven. The King of kings calls me his own. Beautiful Jesus Christ, my living hope. Hallelujah. Praise the one who set me free. Hallelujah. Death has lost its grip on me. You have broken every chain. There's salvation in the promise your buried body began to breathe out of the silence the roaring lion declared the grave has no claim on me then came the morning that sealed the promise your buried body John, in a very personal moment for himself, records Jesus' words as he looked down at his mother from the cross. Jesus said to Mary, Dear woman, pointing at John, here is your son. And then he looked at John and he said, pointing at Mary, here is your mother. I mean, Jesus is near death. He can barely breathe. And instead of focusing on himself, he's caring for those he loves. And remember who that includes, every one of us. See, Jesus values being in relationship with us, and that's good news. A couple of years ago, while driving to Atlanta and back, I kept hearing this song on the radio. It was a new song, and I instantly fell in love with it. 
because of the good news that it proclaims to us. Just as Jesus proclaimed good news to his mother and to John while he was hanging on the cross. You see, because of Jesus' desire for a relationship with us, the writer of the song that you're about to hear penned this good news that you and I can proclaim. Hear the words I am chosen, not forsaken. I am who you say I am. You are for me, not against me. I am who you say I am. Because who the Son sets free is free indeed. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. In my Father's house, there's a place for me. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. Folks, I mean, that is really good news. If, if you know the words of this song, why don't you just sing along as Danica shares this incredible song proclaiming good news to us. Who am I that the highest king would welcome me. I was lost, but he brought me in. Oh, his love for me. Oh, his love for me. There was indeed a dark side to that Friday on Golgotha, and there is a dark side to our situation today. I don't know what the future is going to look like for us. I don't know what the ultimate implications of this pandemic are going to mean for us in the future. So while it's true, you and I have lost what was, and you and I don't know what will be. The good news, the reason Good Friday is good, is that you and I have who is and who always will be. God is present in our reality, and He cares more about this than we do. Would you pray with me? 
God, today we, we celebrate a day, we call it good. And, but when we look at it at face value, it, it just doesn't look good. We, we have images of a man who was badly beaten, punished, wearing a crown of thorns, hanging on a cross, gasping for air as long as he had the strength to do so. And yet, it was your plan, it was your idea to give to us something we would never be able to get on our own, freedom from ourselves, forgiveness that we so desperately needed, salvation to experience life on this earth and in heaven as well, and to be in relationship with the only one who could ultimately care for us, especially at times like this. So God, thank you for giving us this gift. And as we move forward from this day, may we live and proclaim the good news that though what we had is, seems to be gone and, and though we don't really know what the future holds, We absolutely know who holds the future, and we pray this in your name. Amen. May God bless you and keep you. May the very face of God shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God's presence embrace you and give you eternal peace. Amen.